Hello my YouTubers, how are you doing? Oh, it's good to see you again. So, you want to pay a paranormal investigator. This is episode 17. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> so, as you know, um, this series is to help new people, brand new investigators. They're going out there and doing things. To give hips and, tri and, and tricks and give you ideas of different things that you can use on your investigations. It's also for people who've been doing it for a while. Maybe they'll get some good ideas or whatever, you know, and, and that's why I do these things, okay? Now, one thing I do do is I keep doing little things for your safety, for to protect you, okay? Um, because it's very important to me, okay? Because I, I, I love all my YouTubians and I, and I love my um, spiritual family. I love my investigators, you know, I, and I want to make sure you're safe, okay? That's why I do these things. So, uh, when we talked about sage, when we talked about holy water or making holy or blessed water, uh, when we talk about um, making your spirit bike, um, these are all things that I've used for years and they've always done me well, okay? So, I'm hoping that they'll do you well. Now, if you agree with using my stuff, I'm always honored that you use it. I'm always honored that you take it, okay? Um, however, in saying that, just I'm going to say it again because I always say this. This is not a debate. This is not written in stone. This is just my opinion of things that have worked for me through my years of doing this, okay? If it works for you, you are more than welcome, and you have my blessings to use anything that I teach. That's why I'm doing it, okay? If you disagree with it, if, if, if it's something that you don't want to do, that's fine. I'm perfectly okay with that. Um, I never judge you. I never will. Please don't judge me. These are just things that I'm, I share out of love, okay? So, it's this that I just wanted to say that, all right? Today, we're going to talk about holy oil. Yeah, you do not necessarily have to have a, a official from a church to, to make holy oil for you. You can make your own holy oil. Unless, I'm going to put this in here, unless your parish or, or the place that you go uh, say, no, you can't, <laughs> then that's, that's their rules, right? Um, however, um, so if your denomination prohibits it well then you're gonna to have to talk to them okay and uh, get a clearance from them to in order to do this okay but if your if your domination doesn't prohibit it which I don't think it really would um, then of course you're, you're welcome to do it um, <clears throat> you can usually pray a blessing over the oil yourself uh, on your own without the help of a religious authority figure uh, but the prayer should be firm Okay, you must be firm, and it must be made in full faith. Okay, that's the key. It has to be full faith, and the and in the prayer you must ask God to cleanse this oil so that it can be used for the sake of God's glory. Uh, for instance, the prayer would be something like, um, "God, I pray that you anoint this oil in your heavenly name." I pray that you cleanse it of any defilements in it or upon it, and that you make it holy for the work of your glory. May this be done in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. And you must have faith. Okay? You gotta understand the true power behind anointing oil. There's nothing mystical or magical about the oil itself. Okay? Uh, even though anointing oil can be a very powerful tool in your toolbox and a very powerful tool of faith uh, with other spiritual tools, the real power comes from God. Okay? Uh, anointing oil is a symbol of your faith in God and God's ability to cleanse things and to make things holy. Without faith, anointing, uh, anointing oil will have no positive effect for you it won't it won't do a damn thing okay <laughs> um, and you can use the oil to help strengthen and demonstrate your faith but it won't replace your faith 
okay it'll help you but it but only if the faith is there now you can anoint yourself um, among other things you can use the oil to anoint yourself when you pray when you're troubled when you're sick um, while there are different ways to anoint yourself uh, the most common way is to wet your right thumb and to make a cross upon your forehead and while you're doing that um, with the oil uh, while you're doing that you say in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit Amen and then after you're anointing, anointing yourself you continue with your prayer so in our case a lot of times it's going to be in the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Father, I beg you to get this attachment off of me. This attachment has no power on me. I rebuke it in Jesus' name. Get rid of this attachment. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You know, amen. <clears throat> For an example, okay, that's kind of ab lib, so. <laughs> but I think you get the picture, okay? Um, and if you're doing it for someone else, Okay, if, if you're the one that's doing it for another member of your team, you say, uh, I anoint you with this oil, Billy Jones, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and then continue with the prayer. You, you name the person that you're anointing, okay? Um, And, and like after you anoint yourself, you can continue with prayer. Regardless, um, you want to continue the prayer with the situation that's happening at the time, right? So the prayer would represent what's going on. And you give thanksgiving at the end. Thank you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit at the end, okay? And, and know that it, it worked, okay? Um, uh, you can also use this oil in your house or in, in a, another person if, if there's been a place and I use this quite a bit um, someone goes to a new home I mean, like maybe the home's not brand new but they move into a new location and a lot of evils happen there say or there's a lot of residual darkness you know um, stuff like that then you can go throughout the house and over every window and every door jam okay you make the make the cross with the oil you walk around the home and you anoint everywhere in every room okay and as you anoint each frame pray you know pray that god fills the house with the holy spirit that everything that happens in the house will be done according to god's will um, the idea of doing this is to make it holy ground okay to cast out anything that's negative and making the house holy ground all right so I hope this has been helpful, uh, and uh, like I say, you have my permission to use it. Um, and but but keep remembering with with both this, the sage, uh, the blessed water. It's all about the faith. Okay, it's faith that gives it the strength to do its job. All right. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Take care of your family. Watch out for ghosts. And have a great day. Bye-bye.